This was Colonel Roy Knight Jr.'s final flight, a trip home to Texas after more than a half century. The Air Force pilot shot down in Laos in 1967 while fighting during the Vietnam War. First declared missing, then killed in action, his remains were discovered and identified earlier this year. Uh, we had pretty much given up any hope that this would ever happen and uh, were absolutely amazed at how, how, uh, how this came to pass. Colonel Knight served the country for 20 years at Air Force bases in Asia and here in the U.S. Marrying his wife Patricia in the Philippines, they raised three children together, Roy III, Gay Ann, and Brian, his youngest. In 1967, Knight said goodbye to Brian at Dallas's Love Field. It would be the last time the five-year-old would see his father alive. On Thursday, that little boy, now a pilot himself for Southwest Airlines, flew his father home to the very same airport. The bustling terminal falling silent. Hundreds of travelers watching the moving and sacred moment unfold. Outside airport workers standing at attention in a gesture of respect. The colonel's family, including his sister June on the tarmac to receive his flag draped casket. Son Roy reaching out to his dad. It was beautiful, it was emotional, it was sad, uh, but it was, uh, it was good too. It was like the end of a journey. On a day of mixed emotions, Brian's face said, mission accomplished. 52 years after they said goodbye, father and son reunited at last on the same soil. Mm.